Hi, Jennifer Boxavanis here, helping sales teams and individuals with sales roles increase their conversion rate. Today's subject is going to be about remote selling. You may think that the subject has been overworked, but actually it is more important than ever because the majority of us, at least my clients and the people that I'm speaking to are still having to use remote ways to sell, whether that be initial sales meetings or demos or proof of concept. So we have to ask ourselves, what is the best tips in ensuring that remote selling can be more successful? Well, the first question we have to ask ourselves is what is hindering us? And that's pretty easy. That's a computer screen. And what happens with the computer screen is that you have a little bit less of personal touch, even as much as you try. So my tip number one is when you are entering a sales meeting with your prospect or the group of prospects, you want to create an ice break that is not as personal as it was before. Why? Because personal ice breaks are great when you're face to face with someone and you can sense their body language and you can sense their warmth, but for some reason through the computer, it doesn't work as easy. So you can replace that with an ice break or a rapport build with something that has to do with business, not their specific business, because you don't want to dive already into challenges and pain points, but maybe about their industry, about their company, to show them that you've already researched, and that will of course catch their attention and make them want to engage with you. My second tip is about engagement. When you have multiple people on a video conferencing call and you are having to present to them, the best idea is to find out exactly who is going to be on the call ahead of time. And that is normally natural because you are sent some sort of agenda with a list of names. Prepare a talking point with each one of the individuals. If you don't do that, some of the individuals might not have a chance to engage with you. And those same individuals might actually be massive influencers in the decision making, but not exactly having to speak to you or volunteer information. So make sure ahead of time, make a list and write, what can I talk about with this person? Even if it's just one question to ask their opinion about something. So those are my two tips in increasing your conversion rate in remote selling. I'd love to know if you have any other ideas or what your sales team is doing right now in order to increase their conversion rate when they are doing video to video sales calls. So please leave me some comments below.